Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great, great Friday. Today I wanted to come on and share with you uh, the journal that I created with the hashtag prompt journal uh, cover that I received from Miss Nicole, who is the Vagabond Crafter. This was um, a wonderful swap slash collab um, that we participated in, or I participated in, with Rosie's Creative Wings and Wanda who's a day in my world. Um, they co-hosted this challenging swap and um, I finally got around to create my book and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so, as I drop everything, this is the book that I created. Let me just see if I can pick this stuff up real quick. that um so if you don't remember um whoever wanted to participate um rosie created the binding for us and we had an option of picking either a one inch or a two inch um i knew exactly what i wanted to um, use the book for so I, I asked for a two inch and then we were given um we were we chose, oh God, my coffee hasn't kicked in, guys. Sorry about that. We chose the um, prompt card that we wanted to use um, as inspiration and then take that and create a cover. Um, and then that cover that we created with that business card we sent to our partner. And my card is around here somewhere. Um, I do have to find out. I left the place in the book to put it in. And um, we had to send the card with our cover art back to our partner. And this is what I received from um, Miss Nicole, which is a Vagabond Crafter. And I absolutely fell in love with it because it has this beautiful vintage feel with some modern touches. So I absolutely loved it. I went on the hunt and I did find this fabric that I thought included all the colors that she's included here and i thought it went very very well and it gave it just enough contrast to make the cover um, stand out so you can see it's a three signature i did add um, eyelets into it into the, the spine and i used this blue uh, wax thread i did leave um, the strings a little long because I don't know exactly what I want to do with it but ideally I wanted to use this as my um, idea book for my junk journals and I just went in I had some calendar pages that were from these um, beautiful um, Latin driven communities like Cuba, Panama, um, Puerto Rico Santo Domingo and I just fell in love with it so all I did was use some ledger paper a lot of um, a few book pages um, some line paper that was tea dyed and I like the grungy feel I'm sorry about that if you guys can hear that construction um, so yeah this is what I created and I wanted it, like I said, as an idea book. So as I find things and I see people's videos and I get inspired to recreate some of the items, like this is a pocket and it's made out of um, cardstock, some DSP paper, you can see. Then I can include it here. And when I get kind of stumped or I find myself doing the same things over and over and over again, I can kind of come in here and take a look to see things that I've done or maybe I want to redo again and I just did one just so I wouldn't forget but I have a place to store it um, it's not going to be intended for writing it's just a place for me to be able to hold um, some page pockets tucks maybe ephemera that um, I really like and 
I can come back and reference it. So this is my hashtag prompt journal binder completed, my book completed. I absolutely love it. And this will be living on my desk all the time. So thank you again, Rosie and Wanda, for such an awesome and challenging uh, swap. This was absolute fun for me. As always, stay blessed, stay healthy, and stay safe, guys. And I'll see you at my next one. Bye now.